Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we'll show you guys how to recharge the AC system, the air conditioning system on Mercedes W211 which is the E-Class from uh, 2003 to 2009. Of course, uh, uh, there are a few things that we need to cover first. You have to make sure the system is empty, otherwise you might overfill it, never add too much. Usually, you'll be able to find the label with the requirements, okay? and how much how much freon you need to put right here half of this one is missing but uh, most important thing we have the half that we need so as you can see as you can see it takes 950 grams you see 0.95 kilogram plus minus okay 0 0.3 so uh, that's that's how much it takes freon so Usually when you buy a can guys, okay, let me show you That's a normal can right here It's about 340 grams, okay, so in our case Three cans will be too much because it will be 1020 so you need about two cans and two thirds But you'll be able to notice the AC getting colder even after one can Okay, if it doesn't work, then you have a problem somewhere in the system. Now, when you use the, just the, the very affordable, okay, recharging system like that, that they sell at the parts store, you're going to locate the low pressure side, okay, which is, which is the small cap right there. This is high pressure, just never mess with that one. Okay, so we're going to connect it now. Okay, always wear eye protection guys because uh, Gloves eye protection because it can spray in your eyes. Okay, we got it in sometimes they're a little bit hard to get in So stay with us to see what else you need to do next So let me show you how hot it's outside in the Sun. Okay, this is the thermometer 130 in sunshine It's extremely hot right now in the shade. It's about 105 today. That's that just nuts. Okay, so we're going to put this one on the vent and see how cool it will get. Okay, so what we will need to do... Okay, this is just for fun to see. Okay, we will need to start the car now. You will need to have the fan on. Okay, we're going to turn the fan on. And make sure that your AC button is on. In our case, you can only turn it off, so it's on. Okay, and now we're gonna start adding Freon. It's gonna take two and a half cans. Okay, so we'll set it at uh, over 90 degrees plus. And we just keep adding, okay, squishing the thing and adding. Okay, so you can see when the AC compressor turns, the pressure will change okay and we need to empty okay that can and when you're done when you empty it you're going to disconnect it we uh, we usually recommend turning the engine off okay when you change cans so then you can go to the second can and third can okay and we'll see Okay, we'll add one more. Okay, let's add one more and see how it feels after two cans. So I'll turn it off. Okay. We have the second can installed. Okay, it's installed there. So now I'll start the car again and the AC compressor. And what's important guys, uh, never hold it upside down. If you hold it upside down, it's gonna take too much Freon and you might damage something. Always hold it like that, straight up. It's gonna take it slower, but that's how it should be done. The AC fan kicked in, that's a good sign. Okay, and it's taking the second can now. It'll take probably about three, three to five minutes to take the second can. And it started getting cooler in the car already. Okay, right now it's at 60. Two cans and it's blowing at 60, guys. And you can see in the shop, in the shade right now, it's 99 degrees, 99. Okay, and this one here. Okay, let's focus a little bit. 
it's dropping at 50 now so you can see it definitely blows good after two cans we will add about half a can from the third one and uh, eventually it will drop close to 40 degrees depending of course how hot is outside but Okay, ours probably will stay close to 50 now because it's re really hot guys. So that's how you recharge the system on a Mercedes E-Class. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and help us grow the channel together.